Well, hello again. This is uh, Hank Kennegraff, and uh, I want to give my friends on Facebook, the Bible Lance Men Facebook page, a little update. Um, I am now at T minus two, meaning that I received my last chemo just about a half hour ago. And uh, tomorrow I get radiation, and then on Tuesday, I have the stem cell transplant. So I'm only two days away from the transplant. And uh, I woke up this morning and had the opportunity to partake of the precious blood of Jesus Christ, the pure body and precious blood of my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And not coincidentally, I was reading in the Bible in Matthew 26, where when they were eating, Jesus took bread and gave thanks and broke it. And he gave it to his disciples saying, take and eat. This is my body. Then he took the cup, gave thanks and offered it to them saying, drink from it all of you. This is the blood of the new covenant, which is poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins. And then Jesus said, I tell you, I will not drink of this fruit of the vine from now until that day when I drink it anew with you in my Father's kingdom. They sang a hymn. And uh, this morning at six o'clock, I was privileged to be able to partake of the pure body and precious blood of my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I always uh, say as the Orthodox do, I believe and confess, Lord, that you are truly the Christ, the Son of the living God, who came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am the first. I also believe that this is truly your pure body and that this is truly your precious blood. And it is through the blood and the body of Jesus Christ that I receive truly an energy that is supernatural. I truly receive the Lord Jesus Christ. This is my body. This is my blood. It is a memorial and a remembrance, but it is not merely a memorial and a remembrance. It is the pure body and precious blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. And um, I suppose one of the great um, deficits in being in the hospital at this time is I can't be in church. I hope uh, there aren't many people watching me right now because I hope all of you are in church. Uh, it is uh, the body of Christ that gives us the strength to be able to conduct our lives as, as Christians. And so I'm so grateful that Deacon Paul uh, from St. Nectarius came in at 6 o'clock in the morning and uh, gave me the Eucharist. Um, so I'm participating in spirit with my wife and kids as they're uh, partaking of the Eucharist today at church, but I had to do it by myself. Uh, I, I miss church so much. Uh, I wish I could be there, uh, but I'm here. And uh, I hope in a little way I can encourage you as well to take seriously uh, the, uh, the Eucharist. It's called the Lord's Table, the Lord's Supper, uh, Mass. Uh, but they're all different ways of talking about the pure body and precious blood of the Lord. The Lutherans say that Christ is in, with, and under the elements. The Catholics talk about transubstantiation. The Orthodox, they lift up their hand and they say, I, I don't understand. I, I just know that this is what the Lord said. This is my body, this is my blood, and I take the Lord at his word. And when I receive the Lord's pure body and precious blood, I'm receiving not biological energy, but zoetic energy. I'm partaking of my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And that is what gives me strength for the journey as I go from T minus two to the transplant two days from now. Radiation is going to be a new experience. I've never been radiated before. My whole body will be radiated and uh, my hair will start falling out. Uh, it's not going to be a big loss for me, but my hair will start uh, appearing on the pillow. Uh, at least that's what they say. 
Maybe it won't happen. Who knows? Maybe there'll be an anomaly. I feel a little weak. Uh, the uh, the cumulative effects of the, the cancer are uh, taking their toll on me. My blood levels, uh, my white blood cell count, and my uh, red blood cell count, and my hemoglobin, and absolute neutrophil count all are tanking my platelets are tanking but that's what's supposed to happen uh, until I get uh, the blood of another uh, that will replace my blood system and that's going to take place in two days uh, something I never ex imagined experiencing but something that I'll experience I hope I have encouraged you just in the smallest way uh, to partake of the graces that the Lord provides for us in his body, which is the church. And he is the head. We are living stones in the temple of God. And so I hope you partake of, I hope and pray that you partake of all the graces that are available to you within the true body of Christ. Hope you have a wonderful Lord's Day. And look forward to seeing you soon. I'm going to keep doing these videos uh, right up until the time that I can't do them anymore. And even then, I might try to do them. And maybe I won't be able to utter a word, but uh, at some point, I'll regain my strength. And uh, I am so grateful for uh, the friends all around the world. I've been getting messages from friends that are telling me that they are praying for me. And, it is the prayers of God's people sustaining me in an unusual way. The doctors have been amazed that I'm sitting up, that I already walked this morning 1.6 miles um, on the treadmill. Um, that they're amazed, but I, I truly take no credit. I, I, I only know that I am being sustained by the prayers of God's people and by my precious Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So long for now. Have a great Lord's Day.